Uh, hi, my name is Esther Kim. I studied engineering for nine years, including bachelor's, master's, and PhD studies. So uh, I guess for the different industries that I've been in, like Samsung, Volkswagen, uh, and Intel, I've been working in either UX or UX innovations, advanced UX concepts, a lot of emerging technologies, uh, uh, things that are more forward thinking. So for example, uh, at Volkswagen, uh, working on future mobility. So what would mobility look like without drivers driving? Or even things like introducing AI into the cockpit of a car. So how can AI assistants help drivers? For me, since the beginning, I've always just loved solving problems, especially for people. And that's what's kind of brought me to being an engineer and someone who enjoys UX. And uh, right now, in the last year and a half, we've seen so many changes in the education industry. Literally, students and teachers' lives have been upended. And so that's why I think this is a really interesting time to be in the ed tech area. You know, we're entering a whole new world of, ed of education. Uh, now that we have this technology that can monitor a driver's attention and alert the driver when he or she dozes off or doesn't pay attention to the road. As such, I think education can be changed too. If we harness the power of engineering, for example, like in automobiles, we can use algorithms to monitor how a learner is paying attention to their study material. So the domains that we are less interested in and also our engineering is most needed right now, uh, and education is such a domain, I think it's time to make such a change in education So yeah, I mean, one of the big challenges now for RID as a company, starting with the first uh, major test prep product for TOEIC, now we have a lot of different projects or products that we're trying to tackle now. Uh, going from you know, this one product to many, we need to make sure we have a tech stack that is nimble flexible. So that's what we're trying to do right now, uh, pushing towards our next generation uh, tech stack where we're able to scale, be modular, be uh, loosely coupled, be independent, and also be able to serve multiple different products, uh, potentially hundreds of products. Education, we've kind of kept it the same way. We all learn in the same set of rows uh, in a lecture hall, uh, we see one person up front and we just sort of listen and observe. It's pretty odd uh, because engineering has changed almost everything else. I mean, engineering right now, telegraph went to the telephone. Telephone went to all of a sudden now we don't even call each other anymore. We have a screen in front of us uh, where we just communicate with each other that way. Uh, and in education right now, we're trying to push that way too, where we're reimagining what education looks like. Uh, right now, we've just been in uh, the classroom setting or maybe online courses, but we're trying to build what that new future looks like. So where RID has really excelled has been the AI and AI research, AI modeling, it's top class research. And that's attracted a lot of demand from lots of different companies. They just want to know how, how can I use this? How can I use the AI? And that's where engineers come into play as well. How can we make this into a reality? Like how can we make the AI into a product or a service? And the very unique aspect about Reed is that the AI researchers and the engineers are all together. We're working as one team trying to make this a reality. That's what RID does, and that's why I joined RID.